matchup between Nate Diaz and Dustin the Diamond Poye. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight collision. Poye is 27, Diaz is 30. He will have a... Nate Diaz, here we go. First one. Dustin Poye. Are you ready? And go. here we go. Southpaw versus Southpaw. Fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. White trunks for Poye. Black trunks for Diaz. Nate Diaz has outstanding cardio, excellent length and reach, along with very solid Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and professional level boxing skills. He's been really effective with his jab here, Joe. Doing a good job with his striking. There's the jab. They're going after it quick here. And another good body shot. Joe, you... Wow! Unbelievable! He just rocked him with that hammer fist. He's got the full mount, Joe. He hip escapes from the full yeah. mount. He's looking to pass. Now he's in full guard. Wow. Back up to the feet. Oh, nice jab. To the body. Good exchange back and forth here. Nice combination there. Really missing that right hand. Joe, that's a nice kick to the body by Poya. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. Nice jab by Poya. Good defense with the parry. Tags him. Really good job of landing that series of punches. He has with the jab. Nice left hand. Punishing roundhouse kick. And there's another roundhouse kick. Another good strike. Joey lands the uppercut. Starting to land those kicks to the body. Joe, you're all over. The kicks to the body, a true factor in this fight. That explosive jab. Poye with the good right hand. Man, Joe, he's connecting with those punches. Nice right hand. Wham! The right and the left behind it. He's got the clinch. He's working over under here. Joey's looking for some control here. He's got double underhooks. Poye gets the single. He's got some time to work here, 45 seconds. See if he looks for a knee. 30 seconds left in the round. Poye's back inside control. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Look at this. He's out of it. He's back to side control. The horn sounds for the end of round number one. Nate Diaz is lucky to get out of that round. That was a huge knockdown. Very lucky. That was very close to being stopped. He looked like he was in big trouble. And here it is again. And let's take a look at that from a different camera. Here we go, second round, you ready? You ready? Let's round go. two. And he lands the roundhouse. Good jab. Diaz with a strong combination. The swelling in his eyes is starting to get worse. And again, he can clean straight punch. Hit him with the jab. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Half guard. Poye gets back to side control. Big He's elbow. Smash. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Stay tight, stay tight. 
Back up. Flying knee! Body kick, look at that. Hard straight punch. Oh, big left. Turning into an all-out slugfest. Oh, he's going for it here. Man, he just missed. He oh. got rocked big time. This could be Can it. He finish it. Dangerous spot, Joe. He can't let him posture up. He got tagged there. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. There he goes. Back Joe to mount up. again. He's posturing up here. Right to half guard. He's in full guard. And the end of the round. Nate Diaz has got to be upset with himself at that last round. He was knocked down again in that round. He's been hurt badly. Not good. And here's a flying knee that lands perfectly. And here's a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. See if we can get a better look at that from another angle. Check it out here. Boom! Right on the money. With the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Masaki's called to stop in this contest at 48 seconds for round number three. Declaring the winner by. 